requirement, even by a small, simple thing, except following the five R's, of course. Because, let's be honest, not all of us follow those rules these days. That's why I want you to meet Bio Plastic Lab. The idea that came into me to make this is to make sure that the plastic that fill up landfills lessen less plastic, less paper. And also, this is eco-friendly and also decomposes from one to two years only. But probably if you put it in soil, it will decompose so much faster. And of course, this is edible to little clairs, making the decomposition process a lot and a lot faster. I have to show you all the ingredients and how to make our bioplastic. Starting with the most important of them all, the starch. So today we'll be using tapioca starch because it has the highest content. And it will serve as our polynomials. The glycerin, well, it will plasticize the mixture and make it more flexible in the making. The vinegar equalizes the amount of polynomial that the starch gives out. And last but not the least, the distilled water. Any kind of distilled water is will do, okay? And the distilled water neutralizes the mixture and doesn't make it all murky in the making. The materials will be needing for the mixture. First is our spatula. Next is our measuring spoons. A pan. A stick. And lastly, a small bowl. Let's start with our tapioca starch. You get one tablespoon and then you flatten it out with a stick. Let's make sure it's all flattened out so there will be no extra. Okay, now I think that's enough. And then you put it here. Make sure that there's nothing left. Just the dust particles that kind of makes it white. And then next is our distilled water. I, as you can see, I already put it in our small bowl. And you'll need four tablespoons of it. One. Make sure it doesn't spill, so I had to make it a little closer. Two. Three, and last. Okay, that's enough. And then next we need a teaspoon, one teaspoon of pure glycerin. Okay, so a little slippery, so I have to be very, very careful. Okay, that's beautiful. So one teaspoon for vinegar. Carly, make sure there are no more lumps in the sides. Oh, and it's better to mix if it's only in one direction, okay? Now we're going to have to heat up the mixture for at least 90 seconds. And then keep mixing until your 90 seconds is over. Okay, after 90 seconds, this is what it would look like. As you can see, it looks so thick and sticky. Look at that, so slimy. Looks so slimy. Oh, and make sure while you're cooking, it has to be in low heat to get this kind of perfect mixture. Okay, so these are our finished results after five days. I dried them on these type of plates because I don't need parchment paper or oil. As you can see, it just naturally comes off that easy. I also made one 
in a beautiful shade of light blue. Now, these are the ones we use for wrapping. Now for the grocery shopping. 